I think the what we showed in the game that for this tournament as well that we're going to be competitive at the level we started off really really well for the first 60 minutes the game was was very close there wasn't too much in it not too many chances but I thought we looked a threat and, and progressed the ball really well at times into the final third and with maybe better decision making and releasing the pass then we we maybe could have uh, given ourselves opportunity to, to get in front disappointed by the goal in the goal right on half time we uh we should never concede, especially at that, that moment. But we're still well in the game at half-time. Uh, we come out, like I said, very even for, for 60 minutes. And then, uh, unfortunately for us, we we, uh, we get the two players sent off. And um, it's it's a really difficult level, 11 v 11, but 9 v 9, it was... Uh, or 11 v 9, it, it was difficult. But I have to applaud the players and their spirit, the mentality. They kept going and... Uh, like I say, it, uh, it was harsh on them. You mentioned that first goal, obviously the timing very crucial, but was it the wall that frustrated you or, or could Joe Hart do better there? Yeah, no, no, listen, we uh, we talked about it inside. It's, you know, you, I like the players to make decisions and, and there was a decision in the game to, to change the wall, thinking that something else might happen, but you have to then make sure the wall is correct. Otherwise, you uh, you get done. So it's it's a very very small detail, but if you don't look after it, um, you end up uh, conceding. So it was bitterly disappointing at that stage because we we, we played well in the game. What was your thoughts on the red cards? Uh, Gustav, it, it, there's no there's no drama. The ball's running through the goalkeeper. I think it's inexperienced by the two guys. You just got to let the ball run through. You don't have to be in the fight or use your arm. I still thought it was a bit harsh, but I can see maybe why the, the ref gave it. But we, we can avoid that situation for sure. And the second one, again, it's it's a young player, 20 years of age, very committed. And uh, But at this level, you can't you can't go to ground. So uh, I didn't think it was at the time, but just looking at it back, I mean, you see it slowed, his foot's up. So uh, at this level, you'll uh, you'll get punished for that. Brendan, I think everyone recognises the, the quality of the first half performance up, up until the goal went in. What do you take from the evening in its totality, given the way it sort of unfolded there, going into the next game? Really positive. I think that we played fine order in the last game, in the group stage, and, and what tonight showed me is that we're going to be competing and fighting in this group. The players show great attitude and, and courage. You play, you know, you're coming to... A stadium that's scoring goals, left, right, and centre, and a team that's scoring goals. But in that first 60 minutes, we were well in the game, and uh, we created chances. And, and like I say, with a wee bit more finesse and better decision making, we we could have been in front. Uh, so that gives me great confidence for the remainder of the group. Um, and of course, there's there, there's learning there. There's learning for for the players in certain situations that you can get punished at this level, but. Overall, frustrated and for the players because they, they give so much, they work so hard. And uh, but the big point for me was their spirit was never broken. You know, you'll you know, you ask the final players and against against the team that they were playing tonight that they, they never gave up, and that's uh, and that's always good going into the next game. You talked about that spirit yesterday ahead of the game. You talked about the idea that a lot of people maybe had written you off in this tournament. Mm. In terms of what you take forward, given you came away against the top seeds, are you satisfied overall with what you saw, despite the, the red cards, obviously? In that? Yeah, listen, you're always disappointed as a professional when you lose. But there is a manner in which to, to lose. And, uh, and I think that the pride that the supporters will take watching that or watching back at home and, and telly was that the team was competitive. You know, I think we, we've been dismissed as, as maybe a team that's not at this level, but I think we showed tonight against a really good team that uh, that we can compete at the level for sure. And uh, we've got one or two more players coming back over through the course of the, the, the tournament, then uh, that will hopefully put us in really good stead. But um, yeah, there's some moments that we had tonight, the confidence we had to play in a in a, in a great stadium with a great atmosphere, we showed real courage to do that. So, um, so we just have to keep taking that forward. You now have two home games 
do Celtic and, and you and the squad really have to capitalise on that now in the way that historically the club did? Historically, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's about the now and the present. You know, our our next game, we when we arrive in the tournament, that's what we have to, to focus on. And uh, home games are always important at this level. And a um, big opportunity for us in the next game, for sure. Well, Brendan, you talk about being competitive. You showed the fans that, that you can be competitive at this level. Did you feel that in the first half, nearing towards half time, that the game was there for the taking, that you could have yeah. come away with three points? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we showed enough in the in the first half. Our confidence level, ability to take the ball. We were a little bit careless at times whenever we we're in good positions, but the players kept going. They let the mistakes go and and showed that ability to to play with composure and and that poise in the game. We just needed to uh, to finish off our opportunities when we uh, when we pressed it well and and it came for us. So um, certainly for the first sixty minutes, I said at half time to the players, listen. It's a part time to concede. However, we're well in the game, and uh, we probably surprised Feyenoord with our quality and, and intensity in, in our game. But, uh, but like I say, the, uh, the players up until that point, the sentence off were were well in the game. I just wanted to ask you about the the club's finances that were released yesterday, just after we spoke to you. Um, s some record figures. How positive is that for the club? How, how good a thing can that be? And I also wanted to wonder when you see. The, the record figures, does it make you as a manager think that you would have liked to see more invested in the summer or are you happy with all the business that you did now looking back? It's not for me to talk about now, I'm only thinking about the game. It's great for the club, of course, it's, it shows the stability of the club, how well it's run, you know, how, the, how well the board have done over, uh, over numbers of years. Uh, the strategy really works, so uh, so yeah, but for me, my job is to look after the football team. And did you speak to the? Did you have to speak to the two boys that were sent off and lift their spirits, or how, how were they? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, bitterly disappointed afterwards. Clearly, um, it's the first experiences of, of games at this level. But th that's a that's a big learning for them. Um, thought Gustav had done well until that point. Uh, you know, got two inexperienced centre halves. So I thought Liam Scales was outstanding on, on the night, and uh, and Gustav up until that point been uh, coping well so both of them will be bitterly disappointed but um, but they they will learn from it